Hello and welcome to jasonnewland.com. My name is Jason Newland and this is Relax and Sleep Hypnosis Daily. Please only listen when you can safely close your eyes. I'd like you to get yourself comfortable sitting in a chair or lying down. Making sure that you can have a little bit of time undisturbed. It's okay if this background sounds, but just undisturbed as far as someone not kind of wanting your attention. Although that's not always um, possible, is it, I guess? I mean, I can't control if someone knocks on my door. But if you're, I suppose you could close the door, you know, close the door to your living room or your bedroom to, you know, just have that little bit of distance. And I'd like you to make up your mind that you're going to relax. And I want to explore that with you, what it feels like when you actually decide that you're going to relax. Not forcing yourself, but giving yourself that, I guess it is a command really, isn't it? When you're telling yourself, relax, in a gentle but firm way, that only you can really tell yourself in that way. You can't really have someone else saying to you, now relax. Relax, you know. Um, it needs to be gentle, but you can't, someone else can't really have the same, the same kind of influence or power that you have over your own physicality, over how you feel. Because when you say it to yourself, it means more. It's personal and your brain and your unconscious mind and your body listens to what you say. So, for example, we'll test it out. We'll do a little test, a few little tests along the way. And you can get more of an idea of the force, the positive force that you can have in creating a sense of comfort and relaxation in your body and your mind quite quickly just by you telling yourself to relax. So I'm going to start by, let's, let's focus on your hands. So focus on your hands and just tell your hands to relax. So just say relax as you focus on your hands. You could say, my hands are relaxed, or I want my hands to relax. But I think if you actually do it directly, by focusing and imagining that your hands can hear what you're saying, you know, like they've got little ears, which is a bit weird. So talking to your hands and just say, relax. Noticing how your hands start to relax. Now focus on your eyes and tell your eyes to relax. So you're just saying the same word, relax. 
and find the right tone for you. You know, I might say relax, but you you might say relax or relax. You know, you might say it differently to yourself and that's important for you to gauge what feels right for you. So just tell your eyes to relax whilst focusing on your eyes, your eyelids, the muscles around your eyes, your eyebrows, and just tell your eyes directly. Relax. Now. Now I just did that myself and sometimes you may feel that you need a bit more time for the different parts to relax, you know, because I start talking again and maybe that part hasn't relaxed fully, but what will happen is it will just continue to relax even though I'm talking. And that's happening with my eyes. Something else I noticed is when I started focusing on my eyes, they actually almost became, they got worse before they got better in a way. Sort of, I felt a degree of tension growing in my eyes and then disappearing. So I think what that was really was just me becoming more aware of the tension that was already there that I wasn't well, I wasn't focusing on it before so I wasn't really acknowledging it or um, really conscious to those feelings Yeah, my eyes are still continuing to relax, as well as my hands, actually. My hands have got a certain kind of energy, like not buzzing, but I can kind of feel a degree of energy in my hands. Maybe that's where the tension has been released. Maybe that's causing that. The next part, I think we should focus on the back of the neck. That's a part which quite often, uh, or for me, holds tension. I don't know about for yourself, but I think it's quite a, a standard place where tension is sometimes held. So, and I'm, I'm doing exactly what you're doing as you do it as well. So I'm telling my body parts to relax as well. So if you tell your neck, the back of your neck, focus on the back of your neck and just say, relax, in your own words, in your own tone, in your own voice. You can say out loud or you can just say it to yourself internally, but you're focusing and you're saying it literally to the back of your neck as if the back of your neck can actually hear what you're saying. So do that now, just say relax to the back of your neck and I'll do the same.
know what I noticed, and you may have had a similar thing, is even though I was focusing on the back of my neck, other parts started to, I don't know, show themselves to me, or maybe because they want to be relaxed as well, but I started noticing the feelings in my shoulders, the tension in my shoulders and in my upper back. Whether that was because my my back and my neck was saying, well, I'm pretty much okay. It's the other parts that need attention. But my low my uh, back of my neck is still relaxing. But I just became more aware of other parts that needed attention. Now this might happen and it's not it doesn't mean that it's going wrong, it just means you're being notified of more places that also want to feel relaxed. So I'm going to focus on my upper back. So you can do the same. Even if you don't have any uh, feelings of tension that are obvious in your upper back. If you just focus on your back and the whole area from your shoulder blades down to the middle of your back, down your spine. I mean, with me, it's more the shoulder blades that are more. Yeah, that's the parts that are really sort of uh, giving me the nod that it needs relaxing. So I'm just going to ask that part to relax. And you can do the same now. Relax your upper back. Something strange happened there. And this often happens. I've been doing this for what, 16 years or something. And often, I don't know why I'm surprised, but amazed really that there can be a feeling so when I was focusing on the back of my neck my upper back was starting to feel quite stressed and in need of attention as soon as I started talking to you about my upper back and talking about you know getting ready to ask the upper back to relax my upper back already started to relax. It's almost as if it doesn't need to hear the words. It just needs the attention. It just needs to be noticed. That is something that often happens in this type of situation is when you start to relax a couple of parts of your body as we've done with our hands, our eyes and our eyelids and now back of the neck, top of the back upper back the rest of the body seems to just take notice and decide in its own way to start relaxing other parts of your body start to just become looser I suppose it's kind of like a bit of an avalanche, you know. The little ball starts rolling and before you know it, the whole of your body is completely relaxed and calm.
And if you focus on your face, you focus on your eyes, your eyelids, your eyebrows and the muscles around your eyes. Maybe you start to notice that your forehead is more relaxed than it was. Maybe your face is more relaxed. I would say my entire face is a lot more relaxed than it was. So we're going to focus now on your shoulders. Again, just like before, just tell your shoulders. I mean, you, you can do them individually. You can do right shoulder, left shoulder. I just generally do both at the same time. And just tell your shoulders as you focus on them in your mind. Focus on how they feel. Maybe you can see them in your mind's eye. And just tell your shoulders. to relax Feels nice as they relax. But I do notice, probably especially with my back, is the connection between the different parts the back, the shoulders, the neck. being all connected and being such a, a large part of your body it's almost hard to separate them from each other I mean, my lower back has started to relax on its own maybe I'm going too slow and that could be an issue because we all go at different speeds and the idea at the beginning of this recording was for you to be able to just say to yourself relax without focusing on any particular part of your body because when you know that telling your hands to relax and your hands relax you tell your eyelids and your eyes the muscles around your eyes and your eyebrows to relax and they relax you tell the back of your neck to relax and it relaxes You tell your upper back to relax. And it relaxes. You 
You tell your shoulders to relax. And they relax. told your hands to relax, they relaxed and they continued to relax. And you told your eyelids, the muscles around your eyes, your eyebrows to relax, they relaxed and continue to relax. When you told the back of your neck, focus on the back of your neck and told it to relax. It relaxed and continued to relax. When you told your upper back to relax, it relaxed and continued to relax. As with your shoulders, you told your shoulders to relax and your Shoulders relaxed and continued to relax. And it's not just that. It's that the rest of your body has also been listening. And that relaxation has been spreading. So from your eyes, the relaxation spread to your forehead. Around your face, into your skin, into your jaw. Into the front and sides of your neck all the way down your chest and stomach. Your relaxed hands and shoulders meet up through your arms, relaxing. Your forearms, your upper arms, your elbows, your wrists. Letting go. Your lower back, your hips, buttocks, groin, all just start to relax or continue even more comfort spreading through your legs, all the way down to your ankles. tops of your feet, the sides of your feet, and the bottoms of your feet, relaxing into your toes, each toe relaxing, calm. And as 
as your body relaxes more, your mind becomes slower. more peaceful to the point where if you choose to fall asleep you can easily do that Easily drift away because there's nothing going on in your mind. Your brain is peaceful, your body continues. to relax and with that connection between your body relaxing and the word that you say to yourself, relax. Means that you don't need to focus on just one part. You can just focus on your entire body. Saying the powerful word, relax. And observe those familiar sensations of comfort spreading throughout your body loosening and calming and healing every part of your body feeling more relaxed to do from now on is just tell yourself relax and observe feeling completely comfortable and calm So 